My channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I think it's just like sexual, so people thought it would be weird. I think it's. I'll go as far as to say I think it's weird. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, libations! Let us let our jester entertain us. Hear ye! <gasps> Vienna sausage sandwich. Sausage on buttered white bread. I had to stop the poop. Well, I pooped. Um, and I bespeckled the toilet bowl. <laughs> I um gave that toilet bowl some freckles. <laughs> Looked like a tortilla when I was done with it. Remember him from Balto? Balto? Very hot. Balto is sexy. I'm not a furry, but I would never think that an animated animal is hot. But if I had to choose- If, if you had a gun to my head. <laughs> you working if I be like, Jack in the Box? <laughs> I didn't wash my hands. Can I take your order? That's hilarious. Honestly, that's less weird than someone taking someone's order and then licking like the customer's face. That noise. Someone's getting raptured. No! Oh. Oh. <laughs> what Carrie Underwood was singing about when she wrote Blown Away. That is- Oh my god! 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 Soup. <laughs> and I have like this weird rash on my inner thigh. Are your inner thighs really dark? Oh. Hold on one second. Ooh, my forehead was. Yeah, I'm going to wipe off. Oh, my foundation and my face aren't the same color. Girl, I don't know about your foundation. I guess it's like talking about your skin burning. <laughs> I know, but I'm thinking about the YouTube comments. They're gonna be like, me. That's just a whole lot of cold <laughs> black people. Cheers! My name is Sarah Shower, and I'm joined by my roommate, Brittany Shower. Brittany Shower. We're cousins, so everyone stop. Oh, well, fuck. No, actually, we're roommates. <laughs> Your continued patience. Oh. We don't know how to use MacBooks. <laughs> um, don't know how to pull up our graphics, so enjoy this beautiful painting that is my background. I am Sarah Shower. And I'm Brittany Broski. Oh. You guys are looking wonderful tonight in the um, beautiful city of Brooklyn, New York. God's country. <laughs> Or the armpit. Is this the armpit of New York? This is what? the groin of New York. <laughs> this is the lymph node of New York. <laughs> well, we're very excited to be here tonight. Thank you so much for having us. What is it? We, at every comedy club we've been to, the microphones are always like mashed in. Mm -hmm. See that? It's like someone... Like, no, oh, yeah, every time like we've been... I keep licking it. Um, like literally, this keeps happening because I get so close. Like I just like end up like just suckling on it, or like <laughs> I don't know. It just seems natural, but um, yeah, it's like dented because people like me like chew on it. Yeah, that one makes <laughs> chewing on metal. <laughs> got the worst teeth imaginable. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, we've got an exciting topic for you guys tonight. We were thinking about topics that would make sense in um, in New York. You know, like, what's something that everyone in New York does other than smell bad and sweat? Yeah. What What are you guys throwing out? Drugs. Drugs? Ah. Hey, so that's why we're on stage and you guys aren't. <laughs> so love you guys very much, but... Uh, so the topic is? Online dating. Feel like everyone probably has a horror story of some kind, or you've been a victim of a horror story of some kind. Mm -hmm. And um, I am a, a victim of catfishing, um, and a perp and a perpetrator. <laughs> I have acted British online in more ways than one. So that's the cross I bear. Mm -hmm. What about you? And I just uh, date a lot, and so I have a lot of <laughs> stories that I feel like you guys would enjoy. Yeah. 
So we'll get to some of those, but um, in the meantime, let's kick it off. I'll, I'll throw it to you, Sure, Shower. All right, so I'm going to talk about online dating, um, also known as internet dating, uh, virtual dating. or This is also going to be on the Patreon that we set up, so if, like, um, I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, yeah. Um, Hope you look your best, because yeah. <laughs> too You're late on now. camera. People start shoplifting. Um, <laughs> or mobile app dating is a relatively recent method used by people with the goal of searching for, I keep licking it, for and interacting with potential romantic or sexual partners via the internet. A wide variety of unmoderated matchmaking services, most of which are profile-based with various communication functionalities, have become a main way in how people romantically meet each other. I haven't romantically met someone not online ever in my life. Wait, you have only met people rom romantically online? Yeah. Oh. Do you not go out? No. Okay. <laughs> this ankle monitor really doesn't <laughs> so. let that happen too often. You're stuck in the bell house <laughs> for your parole. Um, I rent the upstairs room. <laughs> you like Quasimodo? Yeah. Every morning you like ring a bell. <laughs> they make me mop. Yeah. And then I have to come on stage yes. and then tell jokes. And I'm Esmeralda, obviously. <laughs> okay, so online dating services allow users to become members by creating a profile and uploading personal information, including, but not limited to, age, gender, sexual orientation, location, and appearance. Most services also encourage members to... <laughs> grow up, grow up. Not funny. Not funny at all. What? Sorry. Keep going, cuzzo. No, it's okay. I don't... I forgot where I was. Once a profile's been created... Oh, not on the page where I am. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the stench is so foul. It's like mustard gas. Britney's burps have been banned in war. Um... <laughs> So, most services also encourage members to add photos or videos to their profile. Once a profile has been created, members can view the profiles of other members of the service using the visible profile, in stop laughing, this profile information to decide whether or not to initiate contact. Your farts, you <laughs> I knew, I knew you were gonna, what, my farts what? She was like standing like 20 feet away from us and I could still like smell, it smells like baby food and like, um, I don't know how to explain it. You ever changed a baby's diaper? If you haven't, stand next to me and I'll fart, and that's what it <laughs> smells like. Oh my god, you close your eyes. It's like I'm, it's like I'm there, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm stuttering. So some sites are completely free and depend on advertising for revenue. Others utilize the premium, freemium revenue model, offering free registration and use with optional paid premium services. Still, others rely solely on paid membership subscriptions. That's like when people pay to like super like 100 people a day. Mm -hmm. It's like immediately, if I'm being super liked, I'm not going to like you back. I'm just not. <laughs> and you wasted your one super like on me. Man, there's so many other better options, I feel like. Are super likes on Tinder? Tinder, yeah. Oh, okay. I always pay for dating, like to upgrade, because I just want to like, I, I want to see who likes me. I don't want to wait, you know? That's so I just fair. go through like his. It's, I have no shame, you know? It's totally fine. It's fair. Mm -hmm. Have you ever You guys paid? chatting over here? <laughs> <laughs> you want to share with the class? <laughs> Agree with what? <laughs> you're typing notes, you're like, free me. <laughs> Holy shit, they offer premium <laughs> services. We just see like a laptop light go on. <laughs> <laughs> the little apple. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, do you want to take us away with the origin of online dating? You should take us away because I read so much. You're so right. Before we do that, I have a drink ticket. Can I get a drink? Mm. Yes! I just need a glass of white wine. That's my best friend right here. Yes! Pinot Grigio, thank you, Mom. <laughs> that is so slay. Okay. <laughs> All right, in 1993, we're taking it back to the medieval ages. The first internet dating site, Match.com, was founded by entrepreneurs Gary Creeman <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and Oh my gosh. Drunk. Girl, we're six minutes into the show. <laughs> Blackout. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. That's valid. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this. The hologram shuts off. <laughs> My cardboard, like, falls over. <laughs> yeah. Woo! 
Thank you so much. Because she took the ticket. Like, it's your only one. Anyway, created, uh, what is it, Match.com. They aim to create a proof of concept for electronic classified advertising systems. In 95, the site was launched as a free beta service, serving as a matchmaker for users who created a profile on the site containing pictures and personal information about themselves. So famously, here we go, projector, Martha Stewart went viral. <laughs> Did y'all know this? 71-year-old woman, divorced. This was literally from Time Magazine. It was in Time Magazine. It was like, well, it's official. Martha Stewart's horny. <laughs> it's really great. <laughs> All right, moving on. I'm going to leave her up there for you guys to look at. I like how there's like a body type, like athletic and toned. <laughs> like for mine, it'd be like practically deformed, you know? <laughs> Lumpy and misshapen. Yeah. I feel like every part of my body has been like donated by like a cadaver. You know, have you ever seen that one like American Horror Story where they like sew Tate back together? That's like me. Like when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> Sally from Nightmare oh, no, Before Christmas. I've come to peace with it. <laughs> don't, don't, aw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do you want to tell us about OK Cupid? Yeah, OK Cupid was launched March 4th, D Day. Um, <laughs> that is not true. I just like saying that for literally any date. Um, 2004, a dating <laughs> website. This is so fun, you guys are laughing at a lot. Um, <laughs> it is, it's nice. Yeah, it's, oh it's, gosh, Boston was so like touch and go, and Miami was like, I could have never guessed when people were laughing. <laughs> okay. Uh, a dating website which pairs registered members. I keep my tongue. Um, are you just like. I don't know. It's, it's like, like iron deficiency. You yeah. like need the metal. <laughs> if I stand up, I pass out. Okay. <laughs> um, which pairs registered members based on their compatibility score determined through a series of survey questions, such as what I'm doing with my life. Oh, that's hard. Um, what I'm really good at. That's harder. Okay. God. And then the. What I'm really good at building Legos. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And then the first thing people notice about me, and I- Big fucking forehead. <laughs> That's me. And me. Oh yeah, we got a comment one time that we have big foreheads in the opposite direction. <laughs> Brittany's is tall and mine is wide. We could uh, rent it out for advertising space if we, we could, ever yeah. <laughs> if we ever run out of ads. Mm -hmm. And then also, I spend a lot of time thinking about, what do you spend a lot of time thinking about? Men. But, just, like, specifically, like, bisexual men. Oh. Or just the Mandalorian, probably. Oh. Okay. Not a real man. A Star Wars man. You guys read Star Wars fan fiction, huh? <laughs> Woo! What if it was just you back there who screamed? I would have made fun of you. I would have been like, actually, I've never read it, and you're fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Get her! <laughs> we, like, shine a spotlight. <laughs> Everyone's got a weapon. We just beat the <laughs> shit out of her. Switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> you hear like the click. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Um, in 2012, an OKCupid okay user named Papa pa Papa Paca, pa Papa Paca? Yeah. Uh, gained online notoriety as Squat Squart guy. Um, it says Squart like I like Squat fart. Oh, um, it's about to make a lot of sense. Um, for his. Ex <laughs> Fuck me, use some aloe vera, brother, shit. Is he I spend a lot of time thinking about if I'm going to make you squirt across the room. Is that like squirting and farting at the same time? The distant cousin of squelching across the room. <laughs> um, now that turns me on, nothing like having the best OG, OG I think, OG mom? Oig, oig. Is that supposed to be orgasm? Oig mom? Um, in the, am I having a stroke? <laughs> um, in the world every day, yeah, baby. Zero percent match, zero percent friend, a hundred percent enemy. He is just covered in piss. Um. 
That's something awful. No, who well, said that's Alex Jones? <laughs> Enough. Oh my god. Wait, what is that? Let's read this together like Bible study, should we? Or we do like popcorn reading with the front row. <laughs> right. I love life. Like to make people happy and I love to eat all day long. <laughs> Sunsets are my favorite. I also love walking down the beach on a full moon. Bring something for you to knead on and you will see stars and a whole lit, lit more. Wait, what? He you was typing this like, fucking, fucking, I have stars will fuck my penis. Wait, does he mean like, does he mean like knead like dough? Knead like, like on the seam of your jeans, like you always say. Oh, I was thinking that like <laughs> he would fuck you and then you would be kneading like a cat. Oh, I get it. No, <laughs> Someone's making biscuits. <laughs> I like having sex out in public. It turns me on. My last girl, she loved to show off her nice body, feeling insecure. Yeah. <laughs> Comparing me to your last girl. When we go camping, we would leave the top off and the door open. I also love to ride my Harley. I'm very well hung. This is insane, what I'm doing with my life. I, I want to find someone who likes to go to the beach. I like my big cock. <laughs> to dive, fish, pick shells. Most of all, I like to take care of my girl. That's insane. Yeah, long as she knows how to take care of me. Oral sex is very important. <laughs> I wonder what... Um, in a, in a healthy relationship, I know she will be real happy when she see my big fat... I'm getting honey just, I'm getting honey just thinking about it. Have to jump in the water. Boy, oh boy, it's a nice day today. He's just a stream of consciousness. <laughs> really nice day today. I think Ren is doing my big fat cock. Wow. You know what's actually upsetting? This is the type of man my mom would probably match with. Really? She'd be like, I like a man who's open about his sexuality. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Knowing my mom by her first name, so true. Today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. I personally love online shopping for like the holiday season, but I, I'm the type of person who does it way too late. So Christmas morning, I just kind of print out a picture of what I got them and put it in an envelope. And I'm like, you'll get this in a couple of weeks. And that also relates to promo codes. I feel like I don't have one available at checkout, again, because I do everything last minute and I don't plan. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. I love using Honey. I just bought a certain someone some athletic equipment. It's about like $500 if I didn't have a promo code, but with Honey, I saved about $120, which is incredible. I don't want to go into more details because this ad will go up before Christmas. <laughs> I'm really excited to see their face when they get the athletic equipment. You can save even more when you ask Honey to keep track of price drops on your holiday shopping list. If the price drops on anything on your list, you instantly get an alert to let you know. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. I'd never recommend something I don't use. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash VCG. That's joinhoney.com slash VCG. All right, back to Big Cock. Um, I want to move on to on July 24th, the Tumblr blog Fedoras of OkCupid <laughs> was launched, which quickly gained traction for openly sharing, just clicked away, for openly sharing, now I lost my place, for openly shaming men who wear fedoras in their dating profile pictures. Yeah. It says, um, but I feel like, was it weird to wear a, wear a fedora in 2009? Was it weird to wear a fedora in 2009? Yeah. I feel like, Famously, uh, Ryan Evans from High School Musical <laughs> popularized the use of fedoras in American media. Speaking of Ryan Evans, we're going to talk about Grindr. Um, 
No, but let's read this. My self summary. I'm one of the few good guys out there. Girls always say they want a nice guy, but they always get stuck in the friend zone. I'm not a. Oh, he didn't finish. Um, do you think women have an obligation to keep their legs shaved? Yes. Are you a virgin? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. All right. Grinder, who's who's on Grinder? We know, babe. We know, babe. You guys. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> who's on Grinder? <laughs> 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 On March 26, 2009, uh, the mobile dating and social networking app Grinder was launched, which uh, served. I was waiting for you to make a D-Day joke. Oh, oh, I thought you wanted me to read. But yes, March 26, D-Day. Um, also, Thanksgiving. Um, uh, Grinder was launched, which serves as a matchmaker for gay and bisexual users within close proximity to one another. And there are some of the worst Grinder samples. I feel like you guys probably have worse, but these are just the ones from the internet. Ew! Nice! You look like my son. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> uh. It's not you. I believe you. It's another awful one. Grinder is so sick. I can't believe I missed out on this app for years. Not well. I don't speak German. Ass, ass photo? Honestly, that's kind of cute. It is. Yeah. Das ass photo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like Volkswagen's new slogan. <laughs> um, we got a couple more. Hey, my brother and I are visiting LA soon. Can I watch you top him? Your literal brother? Yeah. I have accidentally matched with my brother on uh, Tinder once. He's my second cousin. No, um, so he is, is actually true. my second cousin, though. Um, I'll explain that later. But um, so, like, we visited, like, North Carolina, and he was, like, a lot of people, like, a lot of girls don't match with me. And I was, like, that, that, that's not true. And so, like, we both opened Tinder, and I was, like, we should both swipe until, like, you get a match. And so I'm, like, swiping, and it's, I'm getting a lot of matches, sorry. And, um... <laughs> This is when I was like straight. And so um, then he starts swiping and it's like five minutes of like no matches at all. And then he gets one and it's me. And I, cause I, we didn't realize that I didn't see it cause I was just going so fast and so was he. And then we matched. We weren't compatible, it didn't work out. I was gonna say, did you go on a date? Um, no, but we got a hotel room together. <laughs> we were already in the room. We were already in the room. Okay, yeah. We were sitting by each yeah, other yeah, for yeah, reference. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, right. we'll, we'll allow the South jokes here. Mm -hmm. What is, wh we were in, uh, where were we? Boston. Boston, where apparently there's a big culture up here, minute culture of like people love the Confederate flag. Oh, yeah. That's just Boston? Boston went with the Confederacy. Just like the most random thing to like lifted trucks, Confederacy. I'm like, y'all, y'all won. Why are you? You literally won the war. Why raise that flag? Mm -hmm. At least in the South, it's like, sure, I get it. You're a loser and you need to, you know, yeah. feel better about yourself. Mm -hmm. Wild. There's also a culture like that in, like, uh, Orange County, which I didn't know. Yeah. When we moved to California, I was like, Orange County, like that show. There's the housewives. I was like, 90210, oh, my God. Well, that's Beverly Hills, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. But we moved there, and I was like, oh, my God, Orange County, I'm so excited. All Trump flags. Yeah. And then I was like, that makes sense. This is where, like, rich white people go to, like... But then again, I was like, that doesn't make sense at all. Y'all weren't even involved in that war. The war of Trump's presidency? Well, the uh, Civil War, but yes. pretty much the same thing. No, yeah. D-Day. Yeah. November 4th, 2016, D-Day. <laughs> yes. All right. Do you want to tell the people about mistravel? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Miss Travel on April 10th, D-Day, uh, 2012. The dating website Miss Travel was created by founder and CEO Brandon Wade, which pairs wealthy men with attractive women who wish to travel for free. The website subsequently sparked many online discussions over its legality and appropriateness. And then Brittany has a video she'd like to show. 
This shit is crazy, guys. I hope the audio works. If it doesn't, Are shut up. Are you attractive, up. but you don't have the money to travel? What if you could travel around the world, stay in five-star resorts, dine at top-rated restaurants, and do the fun things travelers do all for free? On MissTravel.com, there are thousands of frequent travelers who hate to travel alone. These generous travelers are doctors, lawyers, bankers, athletes, like, executives, like episode of the video game. and millionaires who are looking to travel with an attractive person like you. Best of all, they have the money and they are willing to spend it on you. Not convinced? As an attractive user of MissTravel.com, you can earn frequent flyer miles, which may be redeemed for free travel anywhere. Life is short. And there are many places to see. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now for a free account and start traveling today. Now boarding. So my question is, what if you're fuggo? <laughs> you match with someone and like go to Reno. And like the prettiest people go to like Paris and you go to like Scottsdale, Arizona. <laughs> All the yachts in Scottsdale, Arizona. <laughs> I feel like that, like, you show up for a casting call, you get rejected. Now what is this? There's a hacker. <laughs> Let's leave it on that. Yeah. yeah, I feel like what if you showed up for a cat? Thank you for telling me, by the way. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just being ugly, that's really what I was about to say, so let's move on. All right, let's get into the good stuff. I want to talk about Tinder. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. You want me to talk? Okay. So, I'll do it. I'll do it. No, and I got it. All right. Okay. So September Please. 2012. Um, no, there's no date. Oh, you, I keep touching it. Okay. The Tinder mobile. Uh, the Tinder mobile. Oh my God. The Tinder mobile dating app was launched on Apple iOS devices for students at the University of Southern California, the University of California, Los Angeles, and select schools in Texas and Boston. The app serves as a matchmaker. For for users within close proximity based on their preferences and has since rolled out uh, for worldwide use. We did all, you, <laughs> to, uh, at whatever cost. Yeah. Tinder is now global at what <laughs> cost? We so, did. Yeah, we did a whole episode on Tinder that's actually coming out soon. So mm -hmm. be on the lookout for that. Uh, shout out to Stanley for doing our research. Mm -hmm. But in the spirit of online dating, wanted to react to some of the worst dating app bios um, out there. And yes, it's a fucking BuzzFeed article, so shut up. <laughs> Be grateful for what you're given. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. This first one, we're starting off hot. Actually, let's start here, let's start here. Requirements. Requirements. Don't be fat. Have an 80,000 K plus salary job, must weigh less than 130 pounds, cannot be taller than 5'8", must be fit to an extent, no baggage. <laughs> <laughs> Only carry-ons. Only carry-ons. Yeah. Only have a light here. Yeah, one personal item. <laughs> no <laughs> feminist qualities. Rights? <laughs> no rights. You don't have a checking account and you shouldn't be able to read. Don't even think about voting. How is she supposed to see this profile then? Okay, yeah. Let's move on. Must hold conservative core values and be open-minded. <laughs> Don't, Don't fucking argue, argue with, with me. me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like you would have a lot of success if that was just the only thing in your bio. Don't fucking argue with me. Because you get, that's flirty. Like, but what if I went to... Is that not? I'm, I'll try it. I'll try it. If I put don't fucking argue <laughs> with me and nothing else in my bio. <laughs> if I saw that, well, <coughs> coming from a man, immediately not as funny. Yeah. But from a woman, I'd be like, that's hilarious. <laughs> like, what did I say? <laughs> I like don't fucking look at me. I feel like I would, that would be like, okay. Um, don't fucking look at or talk yeah. to me. It's a dating app. <laughs> I'm not here to make friends. All right. Yeah. I'm not your daddy. Um, you're paying for the first date. Oh, what? Holy shit. I feel like that's pretty feminist. That's pretty progressive. Yeah. All right, feminist. Yeah. Yeah. 50-50 um, lifestyle. Stop smoking. Nasty. 
If you're not a seven hot, I'm not interested. If I swiped right on you and you failed a requirement, don't even bother <laughs> matching. But that's you failing like with your own like qualification. Like what? My yeah. standards get lost if you're butt hurt. Yeah, I, I will get lost actually. <laughs> This person literally refused to use photos of themselves until you know them better. <laughs> I'm on a dating app with a fake name and pictures, and I super liked you, but I expect you to talk to me first. Honestly, I would send someone that. Yeah? Yeah. Please talk to me first. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you already talked to them first. Oh Where my is God. it? This is insane. Do you want to take it away? All right. So I'm guessing most women want to know a little bit about a guy on the internet before talking with him. Like my super, no. <laughs> like my super sexy pictures aren't enough, whatever. Well, I'm super funny, sarcastic, dry, quick-witted as fuck, and really loud. I can't help it. My voice travels far and loud. He's a theater kid. Um, <laughs> as a kid, my mom was always telling me to shut up. You're too loud. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> Shut up, you fucking cunt. I love her. Um, <laughs> she taught me everything I ever, I've ever known. <laughs> yes. I'm also tone deaf. <laughs> oh, mostly the tones I don't want to hear. I'm working on it. Oh, I thought he meant like he's tone deaf like when he speaks. He physically can't hear like high-pitched noises. Um, he's just the worst at rock band. Yes. When you have to sing and match the pitch, he's just like <laughs> chronically bad at rock band. Um, I'm very clean and always smell fantastic. I cuss like a welder and can also... <laughs> <laughs> That's so random. And can also have a nice conversation with your grandma, and she will love me. They always do, ha. Huh? Um, something that would earn more negative cool points, negative cool points, uh, would be that I'm a huge procrastinator. I definitely need a little help in this department. Maybe a woman who could just kick me in the ass once in a while. Thumbs up. Mommy, I have, mommy yeah, issues. Yeah. He wants a mommy. Dude, this just, someone has ADHD and they're not dealing with it. <laughs> um, I have a pretty big family. I love all of them. I spend a lot of time with my sister's family because they're the perfect family. Now I want my own family. I mostly hang out with my family over friends, so it's hard to find women. Uh, um, so this is not in West Virginia. Um, <laughs> not the best idea to go looking for a date at the cousin's pool party. That's what I just said. Okay, uh, fun, <laughs> fun part, deal breakers. Get your tissues, ladies. Here we go. Uh, no recent body pics. I work out, but I don't mind a nice, thicky chicky. Um, all right. You have more than one child. I'm not looking for an instant family. I want to make my own. But you can have one kid. That's yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's not a family. It's just you two. Um you're on serious medication. Like the stuff that would make you wig out on me if you forgot to take it one day. Like mood stabilizers um and then not remembering what you did the next day. Definitely not benzos. Um Okay. Um, you're a. <laughs> I know. Okay. Um, you're a dog mom. That's just fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can have a full child with another man, but you got a dog. You're a fucking psycho. You have a corgi. You have a corgi. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of town. <laughs> um, you have a box of cat shit inside your house. That's disgusting. The cat walks around in its own feces and then walks all over your furniture. Probably your pillow. All right. I'm sure I'll be adding to this as the dates go by. And I'm pretty sure I've eliminated 75% of all single women. One last thing, I will not be super creative sending you the first message. Like most of you state you need or I, you won't reply. I found it to be a total waste of time. So it will just be something simple and generic. Um, I will get more creative once I know your enemy or maybe you send me a message. I'm not offended by something simple. If I'm attracted to you, I will reply. Sometimes this takes a few days. No need to block me because I didn't instantly respond after I checked your profile. Whatever. Oh shit, I lost, forgot, number six. Oh, not forgot. number six. <laughs> Please. Absolutely, positively, no Grey's Anatomy. And this is where I would agree. Um, why do you ladies do that to yourselves? It's pathetic watching you cry during every episode. Jesus Christ, what a fucking comedy. <laughs> I recently became a certified welding inspector. He's like, I curse like a welder. and Yeah, because you are. Um, uh, through the American Welding Society. I love them. Uh, <laughs> the spine of this nation. Yes. <laughs> so travel will probably be in my future. My home base will most likely be Oklahoma. For the, for, for the probably 3% that made it this far, you win. Send me a message. What the So fuck? condescending. You win. <laughs> What's the prize? <laughs> Jesus Christ.
a welder with mommy issues, and undiagnosed ADHD. What I'm looking for in my woman. <laughs> Long hair, nice feet with straight toes, big tits. <laughs> <laughs> Just massive honkers. You sh straight toes, no toe hair, big tits. <laughs> I'm not asking for much. Always responds to my messages fast. Does not get mad if I take too long to reply. Can cook good food. Has her own house. Has a nice car. Not vain. Good credit score. Let me make decisions. Does not look at other guys. Says she loves me every day. Good at queening. Has good job. Likes anal. Is voting for Biden. Let me try new sex things. Respects men. <laughs> the oppressed society of yeah. men. Is not fat. Is a good dancer. Is bilingual. Supports gay rights. What the fuck? <laughs> this Likes. is the most misogynistic shit ever, but he's like, uh, you got to support gay people and vote for Biden. Um, Likes the NBA, does not have lip fillers, wears makeup always when I see them. <gasps> That's insane. Uses air frame. <laughs> what? That's just wild. Wears pretty lingerie to sleep, good at cooking breakfast for me because <laughs> I'm a hungry boy. Yeah. <laughs> what a. Wow. That's hot and cold. All right, let's move on. <laughs> this is making me sad. <laughs> Yeah. So on October 14th, 2014, the gays are speaking. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> Do you. <laughs> you guys have your month, and now's not the time. All right. <laughs> you guys, like, you guys... you're not in that month. <laughs> yeah. On October 14th, 2014, the By Felipe Instagram feed was launched by Los Angeles resident Alexandra Twe Tweeten to highlight screenshots of abusive or hostile responses to rejection sent by men on various online dating sites. Once again, this is so scary. <laughs> so when are we hanging out? We're not. Oh, that's right, because you're a bitch. <laughs> With an un undeserved inflated ego. Have you ever had like a, a message like this from a man? Yeah, I have. Like what happened? Uh, where like we went on a date, he was so boring or not funny or just like whatever and he was like, can't wait to see you again. And I was like, I think I'm actually busy. Or like, I don't see this going anywhere. And he's like, well, you're fat anyway. And I'm like, <laughs> period. <laughs> period. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I feel, Drew Afwalo says this all the time, where it's like, someone's like, you're fat. She's like, and? Yeah. And what? What else you got? I'm gonna put my phone number on the screen if any of y'all want me. <laughs> anyway, ew, this isn't like sympathy hour. Fucking shut up. Yeah. But that is like I've I've gotten those responses of like, oh, you were ugly anyway. It's like because yeah. I rejected you. That's yeah. only 45 seconds ago you were like you wanted me bad. Yeah. Like desperation bad. Mm. Anyway, what about you? Oh, I just I was th something similar, but I don't know. It's like just guys being shitty. Like when I was straight, like I hooked up with this guy. And then a couple of weeks later, like, I hooked up with one of the guys that he's friends with. And then the guy that he's friends with was like, it was nothing like how my friend described. And I was like, I was like yeah, I like to switch it up. <laughs> New episode. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is good. You read this one. Okay, wait, I have to open it first. And I don't want to turn around. Morning, uh, your pic's so cute and it attract me to you. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I'm not interested. I'm not interested too. I just want to waste my time, bitch. So fat, disgusted face. <laughs> Is this the same man? <laughs> it never works. <laughs> it never does. Here's a golden nugget. I'm going to sleep. I don't say this to most girls. <laughs> what? You're going to sleep? Anyway, I'm taking you out again. Have a good night. That's very sweet of you, and I appreciate everything you're saying, but I just don't see it going anywhere. I'm really sorry. Why not? What's the issue, honestly? 
Girls now, they have... I imagine him blackout drunk. Yes. Girls now, they have too much freedom. That's the issue. I want to see which guys you want have sexual relations with. <laughs> Relax. Yeah. She just sends, like, photos of all the guys that she's <laughs> talked. Where do you fall in this list? Um, it's like a, a, one of those Ma- March Madness rankings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So matching algorithms. In 2012, social psychologist Benjamin... I licked it again. Uh, Benjamin Carney, Harry Rees, and other published an uh, analysis of online dating and psychological science in the public interest that concluded that the matching algorithms of online dating services are only negligibly better at matching people than if they were matched at random. And then someone doesn't want to be mentioned, but our research assistant said, makes me feel better. Oh, no, that was me. (laughs) Oh, that That was me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I feel like that's wild to be like, these dating apps are no better than being just matched at random. Mm Because that is, it's a random match. You're just hoping something, you throw shit at the wall and eventually it'll stick. Yeah. Depends on what you ate that day. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I feel like it's, I I don't feel like there's any sort of like algorithm to it. Like whenever I go see who's like me, they're like, this is your best match. I'm like, is it my best match? Damn. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's, Shit. it's like they love dogs I love cats they like to travel I like to be alone it's like did you guys do you know me at all like this is not yeah. custom yeah. <laughs> you guys didn't even ask me <laughs> yes. um, in 2014 uh, Kang Zhao of the University of Iowa constructed a new approach based on the algorithm used by Amazon and Netflix Netflix based on I have a stutter alright okay so based on recommendation why <laughs> woo um, <laughs> speech therapy okay um Based on recommendations rather than the autobiographical notes of match seekers, users' activities reflect their taste and attractiveness or lack thereof. Uh, They reason this algorithm increases the chances of, you know when you start reading and then you like forget exactly what you started. I forgot what I was talking about. That's okay. This algorithm increases the chances of response by 40%. The researchers found, nevertheless, is still known what the algorithm for finding the perfect match would be. It is not known. That is T, though. Imagine if like it was targeted ads. That's the type of people being, it's like you have, I love Disney in your bio. And it's like, I work for Disney. <laughs> Actually, I could sell you some Disney products. Mm. I'd be like, oh my God, <laughs> the perfect match. Wait, no, yeah. Um, one time I, oh, this is sad. Um, one time, like I was having a hard time, like learning how to use Premiere. And I started matching with girls who like knew how to use like Adobe and stuff like that. Or like sound editors. And I went on a date with a sound editor who had like four black belts in karate. Holy shit. But then I was like, after the date, I was like, hey, can you look at something for me? Um, I need some help. But no, she was really nice. We never spoke again. Um, <laughs> Networking through Bumble. <laughs> yes. um, so in 2016, Consumer Reports surveyed approximately 115,000 online dating service subscribers across multiple platforms and found that while 44% of survey respondents stated that usage of dating services led to a serious long-term intimate relationship or marriage, 44% lead to marriage? Yeah. Liar. Mm -hmm, Yeah. Someone lying online? I don't believe it. A subset of approximately 9,600 subscribers that had used at least one online dating service within the previous two years rated satisfaction within the services they used. The longest sentence ever, by the way. They used lower than Consumer Reports surveys of... Te- Lost it. I, <laughs> no, I was trying, I was trying so attention. hard. Stop paying attention. Yeah, stop paying attention. This is all one sentence, and it's literally like six lines long. Crazy. Oh. Well, basically, it's saying that they're um, s- only slightly more satisfactory than services with paid subscriptions. So people prefer free to paid. Like, there's, like, minimal success with paying more money. Mm-hmm. Is basically what that says. You can't buy love. You can't. <laughs> Is what it means. <laughs> you can try, though. 44% of people bought love. 44%? That, mm-hmm. that is wild. So I want to talk about ghosting. Yeah. Have you... Y'all have been ghosted in this room? Yeah. How many of you are ghosters? <laughs> Hell is hot! <laughs> Hell is hot. The phenomenon of ghosting has become want? well known. This is when an individual withdraws from a person's life and ignores their attempts at communication. And a recent study led by Gilly Friedman, know him, you love him. Yeah. I love their music. Yeah. <laughs> I saw them at Coachella. Yes. <laughs> at Dartmouth College, researchers interviewed 554 men and women about their dating experiences. 
In the past, when individuals met partners through their peer groups, ghosting was perhaps not as prevalent due to social costs. Right? You can't ghost someone in real life. It's like, why did you? Them, yeah. Why are you not looking at me? We're <laughs> right next to each other. <laughs> Today, people don't have to incur such costs. Have you ever been ghosted or ghosted? Um, yeah, the last person I ghosted was this girl from Boston. Um, she was... Boston, this is the Boston shit party today. <laughs> she was so fucking rude. It was, like, crazy. No, I, I mean it. Like, okay, so, like, this was the date where, like, um, we were talking, and every so often she'd, she'd say, like, oh, my God, you're smart. Oh, my God, you're smart. And no, then, you're actually you're smart. You're actually smart. Like, she would say that to me, and so, but she did drive me home, and, um, she, uh, um, I was, like... Do you want to make out? Um, it, the date went horribly, but I wanted to make out. And so she was like, um, I just have to warn you, I'm a bad person. And I was like, what do you mean bad? And she's like, like not good. And I was like, that's what bad means. I mean, like, <laughs> like, I mean, do you like spit in your sleeping grandmother's open mouth bad? And she's like, oh my God, no. I mean, I just don't like text a lot of people back. And I was like, I didn't fucking ask if you were gonna text me back. I said, do you want to make out? <laughs> and so then, <laughs> And then we made out, and okay, this was funny. Um, she was a wee bit thinner than me, and she, we started to fool around, and she like went to choke me, but I went like this. <laughs> because her like hand, she tapped me so lightly, it started to tickle. And so like, she's like doing her best to like try to choke me, and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> And um, yeah, we just fooled around in front of the apartment, uh, but she didn't come inside and then I- I was like, watching yes. through the window. <laughs> You have like a glass of wine like in the window. I'm yeah. holding dopey. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Swirling my wine. <laughs> no, but then um, she, uh, the next morning she texts me, she's like, do you want to go out again? And I'd never texted her back. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Have you I've, ever ghosted someone? I've ghosted a couple military guys. <laughs> <laughs> because... We've talked about this before where it's like military guys, you know, when they get engaged yeah. so quickly. And the gums, and the girls have the gums, and it's fine. And then they go to Disney, and it's whatever. Yeah. I have been, um, like, texting. Like, I'm like, oh, he's cute, and I'm a sucker for man in uniform because mm. I love my dad. And, uh... <laughs> Is that Brittany's dad over there? <laughs> dad? <laughs> Anyway, so I would match with it. We used to live by uh, an army base. Yeah. And so when I was of legal age, I downloaded Tinder, and I was swiping away. My thumbs were broken. I was swiping so hard. And um, I matched with a couple military guys, and we would start texting. And I, like, love bombing, obviously, because that's yeah. what they're best at. And um, the first, like, it would be like, not even can I take you on a date, because they don't have a car. They don't have any money. Yeah. It would be like, can you come pick me up? Take me to Cheddar's. And drive me home. Yeah. And I just, like, I was like, I'm 19 and I even know better. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. No, Tyler. I'm not going <laughs> to yes. pick you up from the barracks and take you to Olive Garden. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> My treat. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and so after a while, they'd be like, hello, are we going? I'm hungry. <laughs> I'd be like, no, I would just either unmatch or just never respond. And oh, it's always an Android. I was thinking that, like... So they oh, couldn't, yeah. Yeah. Army guys love Androids. So I could never, you know, like, there's no red receipt. So it was relatively harmless. Yeah. That's my ghosting stories. Okay, yeah. And I have been ghosted before. And that sucks. Because as, I mean, I was going to say as a woman. But I feel like as a person, you just overanalyze. It's like, what do I do? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with me? Nothing. You know, it's like, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Period. Yeah. Trying to think the last time that I was ghosted. Uh, I don't think I've ever been ghosted. You're like, no, everyone wants me. No, no, like, it's like, I, it's weird too because I date people who fucking hate me. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. Right. Well, I found some uh, best responses to being ghosted. So if any of you guys are currently being ghosted, you want to try these out, now is the time yeah. to bring out your notes app, write some of these down. This first one is, um, hope this finds you well. I just wanted to circle back, bump up this thread <laughs> per our last message, message exchange. So I would have just said, one. if you don't answer, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> I would never, no. As a bit. As no, I, I would never kill myself, but I would send that text. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I have two therapists now, so I'm fine. Okay. Um, 
Did you write these? <laughs> no, I found them on a website okay. on the internet. All right. So if y'all remember this one, <laughs> this is a meme on Twitter. Are y'all like Twitter, Twitter heads? Yeah. For all of you who aren't, let's relive this meme together or learn about it for the first time. So this one is, um, hey, it seems you're at capacity in your personal life right now and can't hold the appropriate space for me in our relationship. Match two days ago. <laughs> I want to validate you where you are while also drawing a healthy boundary. Please don't reach out again. Thanks. And it's literally this meme, if y'all remember this, the day this went viral on Twitter was so fucking funny. Hey, do you want to work? P.S. Someone reached out and asked for an example of how you can respond to someone if you don't have the space to support them. I offered this template. <laughs> this is completely serious, by the way. Someone, this was like a serious thing. Hey, I'm so glad you reached out. I'm actually at capacity. <laughs> Dealing with some personal stuff right now. I don't think I can hold appropriate space for you. Could we connect at a later date? Do you have someone else you could reach out to? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so this went viral, and then there were so many fucking adaptations of it. Oh my god. <laughs> if I ever got this text from a man, I'd kill myself. <laughs> and Holy I'd get shit. the master bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I have a banshee over on this side of the room. <laughs> Sarah like breathes in the mic and you're like, ah! <laughs> it's a good one. I like it. I like it too. It's Thank you for comforting coming. And, you know. <laughs> I have to heckle y'all. It makes me feel better. <laughs> we love you, too. Thank you for coming. I'm actually at capacity in my personal life. So, um, I can't. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. We should do a podcast. Yeah, you're kind of funny. Yeah. You're really funny. All right, here's another response to ghosting if you guys still have that notes app open. Seems like your phone's been dead for two and a half weeks, so let me know if you need to borrow my charger. I still have your location on Find My Friends. I'm on my way over. <laughs> and last one, you've won one last chance to meet up for a drink. <laughs> Reply with your availability this week to claim your prize. Aw. That's unfortunate. We also have some NYC dating horror stories <laughs> from you guys. Do you want to put it on the screen? Or Don't breathe read? in. I burped. I warned you. I found out how to huff paint the other day. So, like, that was, oh, my God, we were having the hard time, like, the hardest time trying to figure out how to, like, huff glue. Like, so we, yeah, and I find out, I found out how to do it. How do you day. do it? Because it's not just like you buy an Elmer's glue stick. Oh, I got like it. this like resin glue and it, but I mean, I didn't, I threw it away, but like I just right, wanted to see, I right. want to know, I wanted to see like what people meant like when they were like huffing. Does it just smell like a Sharpie? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Did you feel anything? Weird. But that's pretty much it. So you did huff it. <laughs> <laughs> Lar. All right, 12, ri oh. It's just all your nudes. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> 12 real life New York dating horror stories. I'll read it. One weekend on Fire oh. Island, I invited over a guy I met on Grindr. When we got to my room, he asked if he could smoke. I said sure, but politely declined when he offered me some. Soon I noticed an odd smell coming from the pipe and asked him if it was weed. He said, no, it's meth. Like that was the most normal thing ever. I freaked out, asked him to leave and immediately de deleted Grindr. It's Elon Musk. Elon. I know him. I invited a cute guy to my apartment after a sushi date. We chatted for a bit, and he suddenly rushed to the bathroom and was gone for like 45 minutes. I was the guy. Yeah. He came out and nonchalantly said he got a text about a party, so we headed out. I came home alone to a horrific smell. He had filled the toilet to the brim. <laughs> 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 
He had the balls to call the next day for another date. I didn't answer as I was dealing with the aftermath of his bowels. Have you ever? Like, yes. Sh- yeah. Yes. F- fill the toilet bowl to the brim. I have. I went. My boyfriend at the time in college, I went to his mother's house. Yeah. And we were visiting, and she was so nice. She was so like, "Thank you for co- my little boy. You're taking care of my boy." I was like, "Ew, ick." Huh. Not his mother, by the way. And so I go into the bathroom, and we had just had like Mexican food. It was Austin, Texas, and I had like really good Mexican food. I can't digest dairy, so I go in and I just destroy it. And yeah. I was also on my period. Flush to tampon. They have a septic tank. What? what? They don't have or a... Or whatever. Whatever it is. Or they don't have a septic tank. They didn't have a trash can? What? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, no trash can in the bathroom. So I was like, you're pushing me to the brim here, people. <laughs> it, di- it filled all the way to the top. Almost overflowed. And I was like, well, if I do it one more time, it's going to be D-Day. Yeah. So I left it. <laughs> what would you do? Oh, I actually don't know. Uh, I've heard horror stories of people (laughs) reaching into the toilet and grabbing the turd. Oh, yeah. And throwing it away. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I've definitely, I've reached into a toilet. Like, I dropped my credit card and, like, some AirPods in there. But, like, I've never, like, there there wasn't poop in it at the time. I don't imagine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. My friend, yeah, my friend Molly dropped her uh, jewel in the toilet one time, fished it out, and continued to use it. I said, Molly, we have to have an intervention, babe. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah. I have smoked a cigarette I found on the ground. That's different. I feel like it's equally as bad. See, yeah. In New York, no. Yeah. In L.A., maybe. Yeah. All right. The, um, after rec- reconnecting with an old flame, I did the logical thing and Googled him. Turns out his last girlfriend had recently and mysteriously fallen off a mountain. On our next date, he mentioned his horrible year and complained for an hour that he'd been suspended from work for anger issues. Uh, When he glazed over the dead girl to bash his boss, I decided I didn't need to stick around to find out if he'd pushed her or not. Oh, my God. Hey, New York, am I right? (laughs) Let's do this one. Oh. Oh. Seven horrific stories about dating in New York City. But mm-hmm. hilarious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Intentionally left that out. Burrito, burrit, uh oh. I'd been chatting with a guy on Tinder and he took me to a hole in the wall burrito joint for dinner. I never want to eat a few bites and then declare I'm full, but the burrito was huge. And when I didn't finish it, he said, I grew up in a house where it was a sin not to finish your food. He binges. Um, Then he grabbed it off my plate and finished it himself. Uh, He tried to do the same thing with my can of seltzer, but I hung on to that one. Oh, and did I mention he was 20 minutes late? Best date ever. That's not, yeah, that's not that bad. I think about him all the time. Yeah. (laughs) One child left behind. There we go. I went on a Tinder date one time, and it was going not terribly. That is, until a very agitated man came into the wine bar where we were having a drink and yelled, How dare you leave our child locked in the bathroom? At first it was hilarious, then I realized he was talking to the supposedly single 29-year-old young professional woman who had come to meet. Turns out she was neither single nor childless. Thank you, Tinder. You proved creepy exists in every neighborhood. Oh, my gosh. Hey, kissing cousins. Oh, wait. That's wait. us. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't use tongue. Um, oh, wait. No, okay. This is actually a, every time, like, I, do you ever, like, hear things and you're like, oh, my God, I was, like, abused? Um, okay. So the, the one child left behind, my dad used to take me to work, and he would leave me in the car for, like, eight hours with the windows mostly rolled up in California, like, multiple times. And I, like, just, I realize that now that, like, that's totally bad. But he didn't have a babysitter. Like, borderline illegal. Yeah. Illegal, I would say. Wow. Okay, kissing cousins. I was excited about a new guy I was dating. We're both Jewish, into photography, and live in the same neighborhood. I told my family about him, and upon hearing the news, my grandma asked for his last name, Kaplan. I have cousins named Kaplan, she said. She looked on Facebook, and it turns out his grandmother was cousin to my great uncle, my grandma's sister's husband. 
We weren't related by blood, but we were technically, technically distant cousins. He decided it was weird and broke things off. It was the worst game of Jewish geography I'd ever played. I know that people in Appalachia have to do that as well. Like, before you date someone, like, you have to, like, trace your lineage back a little bit. And that's understandable. Mm -hmm. Did you grow up um, with your parents telling you that you were related to someone famous? Oh. Uh, no. What about you? Yeah. Who? My uh, grandma, like, famously has always said we're related to FDR. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Okay. Wait, the guy who got shot? <laughs> She's from Dallas. It makes <laughs> sense. Wait, no, I understand. <laughs> yeah, it's a different president. It's a different president. There I'm are not, layers to that yeah. joke. I got it. It's okay. I'm not that stupid. All right. Well, guys, we want to wrap up, but we mm. want to read a few um, <laughs> just bangers from Horny on Main. We want to relive a few with you guys. <laughs> Just in the spirit of online dating and the spirit of just why are we so criminally horny? And I'm looking at all y'all in the audience here tonight. What are you? What are you? Wait, did you? Is that a man? Okay. <laughs> I am crying. I thought you were a good person. I have never begged anyone like this before. Please, just a photo of your tits and that's it. Please. <laughs> Wait, fuck. I can't even turn around all the way. Oh my god. Wait. When I was younger, I used to measure my dick, mark it off on the ruler, and stick the ruler down my throat to see if the bitches would be choking on it. This tweet has been deleted. <laughs> it's always this tweet has been deleted. There's <laughs> one more. Hey, I was in a car accident on Thursday. Can you send me a picture of your tits? <laughs> Awful. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys so much. Thanks. Are we standing up? <laughs> this has been a blast. You guys were insanely, insanely energetic, and we really appreciate that. Um, Thank you for coming. Thank you for not getting too belligerently drunk in the audience. Appreciate that. Please give it up for Sarah Shower. And please give it up for Brittany Broski.